Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. It has now been eight weeks since my breast lift, so I thought I would give you an update on how things are going since my last update, which I think was four weeks ago. So it's now been two months. So I did have a post-op appointment at the doctor about two weeks ago, and he thinks everything is healing fine. They have rounded out quite a bit, but is concerned that we might have to remove some extra skin from the outside to make it completely rounded because they are still a little bit boxy. He wants to wait until November to kind of reevaluate it and see where they're at, but we might have to do something else to get them to be completely round. And that's just because he said I had so much extra skin that they basically did their best and were hoping that they would just completely round out on their own um, but because the skin was pulled so tight it was hard to tell at the time. So in November I'll go back to the doctor we'll talk about it but I asked him what would be involved with removing more skin because I like definitely don't want to go through surgery again and he said that they would just use local anesthetic in their office and just go back in through the same incisions and remove the extra skin on the side. So they don't do anything else with anything else. I don't know if it's going to cost more money. I feel like it is because the first time I asked him about it, he made a joke about it being really expensive. And I'm just like, motherfucker, I've already spent so much goddamn money that I feel like... It should be included in the price that I already paid because why would I wanna why would he want someone to advertise like square boobs I don't know but I don't actually know the answer to that yet and I'll find out in November but I did some research into revisions on realself.com and it sounds like when someone needs a revision, the doctor typically doesn't charge anything, but the patient has to pay for like facility and anesthesia fees and stuff. But since I wouldn't actually need that and it would just be in the office, I'm not too sure. So once I find out in November, I'll keep you guys updated. It sounds like if I did do that, I'd have to wear the recovery bra for another seven days after that, but then should be fine. So. That's where I'm at right now. Um, I did open up an incision a little bit when I started lifting again, but that has since closed. So now I'm just rubbing bio oil and vitamin E oil on the scars once a day. And that's how things are going. If you have any questions, leave them below and I will update you in November. Okay, bye.